your birthday today. your birthday a day that you were born unto earth a day a champ and hero came to bear it thank god it's your birthday today celebrate what the lord has done cause it's your birthday a day that you were born unto earth a day a champ and hero came to bear it thank god it's your birthday today A hero, you are blessed, you are so blessed. Praise the Lord. We celebrate the blessing. Tolerance, commitment, uh, the fact that you know that when you started, you are committed to each other, and you know that no matter what, there is no going back. It's a school that you will go, but you will never graduate. Uh, I wish I had well. I wish her all the best. I wish that she's here for another 50 years or more in good health and prosperity and peace of mind. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.
been so faithful to us. Don't say thank you, Jesus. This song is for you, Father. You can see what that God
rise as we will read the Bible passage. Our first passage is 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Our next Bible reading is 1 Chronicles 16, 34 in the ESV version. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Amen. May the word bless this Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we host it, please? Thank you so much. I feel honored. Thank you so much for celebrating me. We have all been together in the journey of my life. I want to thank you for coming, and I pray that the Almighty God will bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I promised myself that I'm not going to be emotional today. So please pardon me. I thank God. I turned 50 last December, and uh, I don't know how I'm still standing today. It has been the grace of God. Yeah. You know, Isaiah 59, 19 said, when the enemy came like a flood, uh -huh. it God. says that the Lord did what? Yeah. When the enemy struck in my family on September 30, 2022, uh, I look at myself and I said, Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna live beyond that year? It was an horrible experience. But since then, the Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been faithful to my family, to my husband, to the children, even to my family back home. Even at work, when people see me, they, they call me Emma, by the way. So they call me Emma at work, they were like, Emma, you are, you are laughing. I would say, yeah, I'm smiling. Some people would say, oh, you want a hug? I say, it's okay to give, a, to give me a hug, but I'm fine. I thank God. The Lord has given us, you know, we're still going through our moment, but the Almighty God has given us a closure. The Lord is increasing us physically in all areas of our lives. We are finding favors here and there. And I want to thank God for my dad especially. Because he did not take a... Toby's death, he didn't take it easy. I went to see him in February and I spent just 12 days at home. And um, most of us that know Ibadan very well, I was at the hospital for 8 days with my dad. He was on admission. They were thinking maybe he had uh, cancer, he had this, he had a series of tests. But at the end of the day, the Lord perfected everything that concerns him. I mean, I'm sorry they are not able to, you know, to watch. They would have loved to watch. Uh, but I just, they're watching? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because the enemy was a liar. You know, my sister and the family, they applied for visa. We, you know, we invited them, but they denied them. They think they are going to Japan. So, yeah, so thank God. But in all, I just want to thank God. I don't know how to thank God. But please, if you can just thank him on my behalf. On the behalf of my family. On the behalf of my husband. On the behalf of the children. On the behalf the church of God. I want to thank God because I did not run mad. I want to thank God because we are still standing. We are still singing. Uh, I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, okay. So I have a special number, you know. I And can we please appreciate the best choir? Mm. Thank you so much. The instrumentalists, you are awesome. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to appreciate all the 
people of God present, the Almighty God will perfect everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not labor uh, in vain. You will not cry over any member of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, I, 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 I'm just happy to be. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. The Lord is good. second God you who brought her forth when she turned five she turned ten she turned twenty thirty forty and today we're celebrating fifty father we exalt your name can we not give God the glory let give God the glory father Lord we honor you we honor you we honor you Lord we praise you we return all the glory and we adore your name Thank you for your faithfulness, for your mercy and for your grace, and for all that you have done for this family. And your daughter, God, will magnify you. Greater things will you do. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated, sir. Amen. Please be seated. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. Can we just uh, Look at somebody next to you and say, you're welcome in Jesus' name. You're welcome in Jesus' name. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the sacrifice for making it today to come and rejoice and celebrate for this wonderful daughter of the Most High and the family. Uh, I want to sincerely uh, congratulate um, you know, the Latimos family, uh, beginning with the head of the family. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we, we, we congratulate you, sir. Thank you. The Lord Almighty will bless and prosper you in Jesus' name. And we celebrate the celebrant of today. Uh, Emanuela or Latimo. Hallelujah. Uh, congratulations again in Jesus' name. You know, uh, one thing with uh, Mr. Latino, which I've asked him before, is we never celebrate his birthday, but he, <laughs> whatever that he needed to do for his own, he always take it and celebrate her. Come on, let's, let's, let's appreciate him again. Let's appreciate him. Hallelujah. We, we bless God for you. We bless God for you, man. The Almighty God will perfect that which concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. Really today, um, there's no, I'm just going to, what God put in my heart is actually to just talk about thanksgiving. Just appreciate God. 
There's no amount of preaching especially for you, really, other than to say, God has been faithful. God has been faithful. Uh, by the grace of God, I've known this great woman now for, I think, 20 years thereabout. Uh, I remember the first day that she showed up in church. Uh, you see some of those pictures, that's the way she used to look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, hallelujah. Some of you are looking at the pictures, you know, in the, in the booklet, but that's the way she used to look, you know. Uh, but I'm grateful to God that uh, over time, you know, I remember when you used to go to school, doing your master's, you know, in there in New Heaven and still raising all these children and going through all that, uh, you know. But God has really been really faithful. And so today, all that you can do on a day like this, honestly, is just to be grateful to God. Hallelujah. Can we appreciate the Almighty God again? Let us appreciate it. Exodus chapter 15, Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 3. Exodus 15, verse 1 to 3. And I'm reading it from the New Living Translation. Then Moses said, The people of Israel sang this song to the Lord. He said, I will sing to the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. He has hold both the hearts and the rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song. He has given me victory. This is my God. I will praise him. My father's God. I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. His name is Yahweh. And let, uh, let me come with me also to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 1 to 4. 2 Samuel 23, verse 1 to 4, King James Version. And then it spake unto the Lord the words of this song, In the day that the Lord delivered him out of the hand of his enemies. I'm reading it from just the King James Version. And out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock. My fortress, my deliverer, the God of my rock, in him I will trust. He is my shield, the, the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be safe from my enemies. The truth is that the journey from now, from you know, from all the past to where you are now, it has been a long journey. Anyone who is celebrating your 50, your 60, your 40, or whatever than above, you will know that it has been a long journey. I don't know, I don't know about you, but I know in my little few years on earth. I have had some near misses in life, but for God, I wouldn't have been able to make it. And I know that as you sit down today, you will remember. I remember one accident that you had some few years back when you were still living there. That if, if not God, today we will not even be talking about any 50th. So, uh, this is the one I know, but I know there are other things. That's why I say that today is just a day of Thanksgiving. Because I'm sure that at the age of 50, everyone and anyone will look back and say, but for God, that day I wouldn't have made it. That day I could have not come home. That day, that day would have taken me out. When the enemy came like a flood, like just you said, God raised his standard against him. And you know what? That same God has never stopped. Yes. He will never cease. Amen. He will see to it Amen. that you finish well. Amen. As long as you keep to it, to Him, and I know you will finish well in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you, and as I keep saying, sometimes people think I see maybe when I'm just shouting. But I wanted to know that your best is yet to come. Amen. You know? Uh, you know, go and buy sneakers. We're going to send you to the Olympics. <laughs> 
Because your best is yet to come. Yeah. Life is just starting from you. Yeah. I remember in those days, trust me, in those days, you know, when they say somebody is celebrating 50, <laughs> you will see the man will have gray hair. <laughs> you will see that he is old. You will see that he is just ready to retire and resign and just go. The days we are now, I mean, look at, do you see this uh, young lady here? Say she's 50. <laughs> Unless you are not looking well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So your best is yet to come. Amen. You are yet to start life. Amen. You know, I always tell people when they get 50 and 60 and then they start saying, at this my age, at this my age, I say, don't retire before your time. <laughs> don't retire before your time. Do I look like somebody who has no. already reached 50? No. Uh, you, it's your judgment. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that somebody saw me, you know, uh, not too long ago and said, How old are you? I said, I will not tell you. Guess how much I am. You say you are 30 something. Ah. You got it. You got it. You got it. You are right. I say you are right. <laughs> so, our best is yet to come. Yeah. In this place, we see that the day. That God delivered the children of Israel. He gave them a new song. May God give you a new song. He said, God has delivered, He said, the one that is riding the, the evil horse. And the horse itself. So it doesn't matter whatever that the enemy has planned. One thing that I am confident and I, I am sure and I know. Is that God is with you? Amen. He will go before you, Amen. He will keep you, Amen. He will shield you, Amen. He will protect you, Amen. He shall be well with you. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Say ye to the righteous that He shall be well with him. He shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. The second scripture that we read, David, he said, God has delivered me from all my enemies. Let me tell you, there are, there are, you know, there are enemies everywhere. The only thing is that don't pay too much attention. Don't waste your whole life thinking about enemies. You know, I, I, I said this story before. I'm going to try and round up now. I, I said this story before many years ago. I used to dream a lot. You know, when I go to lie down, go to sleep, I will see you demons. I will buy them. I will lose them. I will say all kinds. I will plead the blood of Jesus. I will do all kinds of things. Bind the demons. That will be the night I will dream. And I dream a lot. You know, fighting and doing other things. <laughs> You know, I have reached a state now that all I do is I, I just give thanks to God. I just bless God. I just honor Him. And the glory of God is there. And the presence of God is there. As my wife, I never had any issue of falling asleep. When it is time to sleep, it is time to sleep. You give God the glory. You praise Him. You honor Him. You exalt Him. And that God will see you through. Amen. So for the rest of your life, worship Him. For the rest of your life, honor Him. For the rest of your life, give God the glory. For the rest of your life, never take God for granted. Yeah. No, 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 no. Never take him for granted. Let him be your beginning. Let him be your end. Let him be God. Let him be the start of your day. Let it be the end of your day. Put him ahead of you. Put him behind you. Put him on your side. Let him guide you. Let him watch over you. Let him shield you. He shall be well with you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And I know you will eat the fruit of your labor. Yeah. You will see your children's children. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So, uh, today uh, to all of us who are here, glory be to God that we can talk about somebody who is here to honor and praise the Lord. But you know that if you don't even know him, I mean, uh, what, what are you going to do? Uh, you're going to just praise which God? And so to all of us who are here today, how much of him do you honor in your life? How much of him do you adore? How much of him do you exalt? How much of God is inside of you? That is what will make you to finish well. If you wait on him, if you put your trust in him, I assure you that he shall be well with you. Yeah. But if you want, the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. prevail. You will not prevail by your strength. 
You will not prevail by your wisdom, by your intellect, by your education, but it is only by the mercies of God alone. And so we commit you, we say, for the rest of your life, may God show you mercy. Yeah. May He show you mercy. Yeah. May He show you grace. Yeah. May you find favor with God. Yeah. May you find favor yeah. with man. Yeah. And may He be well with you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. This is the time now that I am going to be praying for the celebrants and the family. Please, will you... Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we rise up as we pray? Our Father, we bless you. Amen. Our Father, we honor you. We exalt you, Lord. We glorify you. Hallelujah. You are wonderful. Yes, Lord. You are glorious. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your daughter. Yes, Lord. Thank you for all of us. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for showing yourself faithful. Father, we glorify you. You are worthy. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, family, can you come forward? I just, I just feel the anointing to pray for you now. Hallelujah. Clap for them as they come. Clap for them. 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 Hallelujah. We give you Jesus. The Lord go before you. 
may he be well with you. I pray for open heaven. For the rest of your life, you will not see sickness. You will not see infirmity. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will see you. The Lord will afford you. He shall be well with you. He will make the work of life easy for you. of God and I'm sure that all of us can you know testify to his goodness in our lives um, and I pray that as we minister that we'll all be blessed amen, amen.